everyone, welcome to K-pop. Hello everyone, welcome to K-pop Queen for your non-daily reactions to all things K-pop. Okay, right now I'm about to do the reaction to um I was about to say Boca, but no, Dreamcatcher's newest EP. It's Dystopia, Lose Yourself. Um, I just did the reaction to Boca the other day, which has been on repeat. Honestly, I've been listening to that a lot, and it has been quite the experience listening through headphones. And it always is, isn't it? You always discover something new. I heard this new guitar riff that I didn't hear before, and I was blown away by that. Anyway, back back to the EP okay um this dropped along with the song it has uh six tracks on here one of them is a bokeh instrumental so really like five new tracks if you will um i'm ready to listen to this y'all have been telling me that break the wall is everything um so my expectations are high um their eps never ever lose in my mind their their music never loses like they're always on fire it's always hot stuff so um let's check out the latest from dreamcatcher like I said, Dystopia Lose you Myself. Did I say yourself or myself? Hopefully I said myself. Um, the first track on here is Intro. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. What in the dystopian thunderstorms do we got going on today? Okay, I thought this, okay. Speeding up, speeding up. I always say this. It's Dreamcatcher and Luna giving me the intros and the outros. Ooh. <laughs> Drop it in. was like uh, an extension if you will of the title track but this is really this ain't nothing like this okay <laughs> okay <laughs> all right <laughs> to get the blood pumping <laughs> starting with that little intro okay Woo! Yeah, that sounded nothing like Boca. And I always feel like in these intros, I can hear little elements of like the title track, like little things that they included and stuff. So the producer's kind of like, all right, hold on, let's let's do a little something right now. Let's let's mix something together and have that be our intro before we hit them with Boca. Okay, the next track on here is Boca. Oh, well, I guess the thunderstorms. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. I feel like I just heard this like I don't even know what that is. Like this little this little beat this little stick beat thing. I feel like I'm just hearing that for the first time. Mm. I'm still I'm still stuck on the next part. I'm still stuck on Sua's part. Let's just be honest. Na 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 Just lay, lay, layer the book, like just layer them in so seamlessly. Push the vocals. Hmm. Boca. I mean, the their range is kind of insane. The way they be going up and down, I can't keep up, but I'm, I'm also can't sing, but still. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, she um, insane. I love that ad lib. Like, like I just I don't know how they're still doing this. Like every single every single song is a hit. Like. I was talking about this earlier, or in the other reaction. I love Fly High. I love the other title track as well. But I'm still also listening to the B-sides, like, and there was no one left. And Endless Night. I didn't even get to talk about Endless Night in that reaction, and I don't even know how I missed it. Because that one, superior. But they just keep coming back with hit after hit after hit. And I'm like, Boca about to be on that list. You know what I mean? Like, Boca is on that list of hit after hit after hit. And soon, soon my playlist is just going to be completely Dreamcatcher if they keep this up. Okay, the next track in here is Break the Wall, the one that you guys were talking about a lot. I'm kind of scared. I don't know. Okay. The guitar. Let me turn it up a little bit. Yes! Ooh, good thing I clipped my wig in. <laughs> Loving the way we're coming through singing right now. We got some sort of effect in our voice. Hold on, harmonies! Oh, I wish I knew how to play the drums. <laughs> huh? Listen to the guitar. Listen to the guitar and the drum. Bring it up. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> It's oh, <laughs> there's always that one B side, is there not? There's always that one B side where I'm like, man, I don't shut this. I always be shaking this thing. There's always that one B side where I'm like, now <laughs> you didn't have to go that hard on the album, and it's looking like it's gonna be break the well for me. I, what a rock anthem! Do you know what I mean? I was so into the guitar the minute the minute it started playing in. I was like, "What is like? Where is this going?" It's giving me like head banging vibes. Okay, the way that they opened up their vocals in the chorus, I was like, I was like, "Oh my goodness!" You know, I loved that ending, that last that last bit where they're just singing up progressively each time. I mean, can you imagine when this go when they do this live in concert? Like the energy is gonna be in. Insane. The next song in here is Can't Get You Out of My Mind. That is what it says. Can't Get You Out of My Mind. Okay. Ooh. 
Am I going straight to the 80s? Okay, wait. This, okay, wait, okay. I thought it was gonna go somewhere else, but that's okay. Okay, so we're going to the club. All right, bet. <laughs> Let me change my outfit. <laughs> Singing real softly. Oh, was this not completely in English? Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, wait, this is about to be a club banger. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on, I like this kind of music. <laughs> I like a club banger. It's giving me very like Zed vibes. Ooh, why do you hesitate? Boss! Get it together. If any of these Dreamcatcher girls are coming for you, you better be ready. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Step up to the plate! It is up to you to realize that she's waiting right there behind. Build up, build up, build up. I could uns uns to this. I'm telling you, I will uns uns dance to this in the club. I will. Slow it, slow it, slow it down to the end of the song. And we're off. Whoa! Okay, I can't get you out of my mind. Listen, my little club banger, my little pop club banger, something that Zed might drop. Do you know what I mean? That's the vibes I was getting from this one. I obviously am really enjoying it. I love a club banger. I told you, I'll uns uns dance to this, okay? And I like Zed. I like Zed. I like Calvin Harris. You know what I mean? Like, this is the type of stuff I put in my playlist and I can listen to all day. As I was saying when I was listening to this, the versatility of Dreamcatcher. I mean, did you, we literally just went through four tracks and they're all different genres. They're all so different from each other and yet they all are eating it up. Mm. can't get you out of my mind and that track was in all english too which i had no idea i know they were gonna i didn't know they were gonna give us an english track so okay great surprise right there now i'm looking at deer like what the hell is this about to be you know what i mean like what what genre they, they, they're about to hit with this one okay next track on here deer oh mm-hmm 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 and they're about to round it off with a soft piano ballad, as they should. Mmm. 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 So far, no beat, just piano and vocals. Okay, bring in the soft guitar.
let the piano play, okay? <laughs> Come on, harmonies. The strings. Well, okay, dear. Honestly, yes, it's correct and proper to end it with a piano ballad. What a beautiful song. What beautiful vocals as well. I mean, the girls are singing so softly and so nicely. Do you know what I mean? Like, they're setting it up. They're slowly starting to sing and push more as the song progresses. And that's how we get more of the instruments as well. I mean, it literally exploded in that second chorus. Everything just layered in at the same time. I really like that idea of having it so simplistic in the beginning and then layer the things in immediately really and just have it like be this huge huge explosion and like another part of the song to like draw the listeners into that po that melody is so interesting I, I was like I was, I was not expecting that chord progression at all so I, I like that 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 choice to do that one instead of like a typical chord progression I feel like it should be a drama song like I could hear this in the drama like I hear songs like this for the drama so I'm like okay what what drama do I need to listen to that Dreamcatcher's a part of you know <laughs> Oh my gosh, Dystopia Lose Myself, what a fantastic EP. I mean, what great music. It's, it's every year. Every year they're giving us a project or two or three, you know, and they're giving us consistent hits. I don't know how you pick something out of everything that is so different. I Like I was saying, different genres for each track. There is something for someone in this entire EP. I mean... I mean, obviously, Break the Wall. I mean, I was very, you know, excited about that. And I still am. And I can't wait to listen to that again with my headphones in. I think that's going to be a different experience, you know. But Can't Get You Out of My Head is also, like, I can't get it out of my head. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm kind of like, wait, I need to listen to that again. And so I can get every beat and everything that they did in that, you know. And Deer is going to be different in headphones as well. Because when you, all of the things come in at the same time, that's going to be quite an experience. Oh, great EP, ladies. <laughs> continue to just be absolutely fantastic and to kill the game just continue we just here along for the ride this y'all like y'all y'all doing whatever you need to do and you do great every single time so thank you <laughs> genuinely as a fan thank you okay guys tell me what you think how you feeling about this ep what's your favorite track you can comment below or you can tweet at me and i'll see you with the next video bye guys